Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Alex. We're gonna be doing a very spring inspired makeup look today. You can kind of tell I got a lilac going on. The nails, the top. I've been very inspired by Lizzo's recent looks. So I primed with the Tatcha the Silk Sunscreen and now I'm going in with my color corrector, which is LA Girl uh, Light Ivory Pro Concealer. Typical. I'm just going to be brightening up some of the areas of my under eyes um, That are very dark. So obviously very inner corner directly under in the hollow of my eye and a little bit on the outer corner Just to create a little bit of like warmth before I go in with my concealer L'Oreal true match They recently uh, changed their packaging. So I haven't used this in forever. I'm using w1 which was a little bit light not terrible, pretty decent color. I knew I could make it work, uh, but I hadn't used the formula in such a long time. And since they repackaged, I just figured I would give it a shot. Um, so I ended up making it work. It's a pretty decent formula. I don't know if it's one of my faves, but I'm gonna keep using it. Uh, also L'Oreal, I'm going in with my trusty infallible concealer in the shade Ivory. Uh, this is just such a nice full coverage drugstore concealer and I'm obviously hitting all of the areas that I would typically so similar to where I like color corrected uh, Just some areas where I need like a little bit more coverage typically around my nose around my eyes, of course But I'm letting the foundation do the majority of the work around the rest of my face I don't want to be wearing a ton of makeup. It's spring. You know, I want to keep things kind of light and fresh but the whole point of this look is that we're not going too pretty, okay? Contouring like I typically would with my Fenty Matchstick in Amber. I have been thinking about switching it up and potentially picking up uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Fawn. I haven't tried it. If any of you have compared them, please let me know which one is more cool toned. Because this is just like, whatever. Rare Beauty bron Bronzer, by the way. Um, for my forehead because I don't like using the cool tone all over my face. I do like to warm up my forehead. Uh, and I am blending with my secret brush. I'm sorry, a lot of people have been very interested. Uh, I'm sorry that I talked about this so early. It's gonna be a minute. It's gonna be a minute. And that's all I got for you. That's all I got. Uh, but it's fantastic for blending creams and powders. So that is what I am using for uh, basically like all around my face. I'm just taking whatever's left over from the bronzer of my forehead onto my cheeks and then going in with a sponge and making sure that everything is nice and blended. And obviously the lips and the nose, it's something that I always do. It's definitely not necessary, but I like to hit basically every area of my face. I'm gonna be going in with Score. This is from uh, About Face. You might recognize this from my, um, my bundle with them. One of my favorite purple blushes. So I'm gonna be placing this all over my cheekbone, keeping it up a little bit high and uh, blending it slightly up towards my temple. I'm priming my eyelids with the Sheer Eye Primer by e.l.f., which is one of my favorite drugstore eye primers. Just nice and light, you know, adds a little bit of something, but not super heavy and opaque. Perfect for this kind of look. Um, I wanted to build up more, like I really wanted the blush to be a statement since I've been loving Lizzo's looks. So I just wanted to put that primer down before I built up more of that blush because I kind of wanted to go over the eye area a little bit. Also going to be using this one from Half Magic. Can't remember the name, it's linked down below. I'm going to be using this to kind of like deepen up that contour. So I wanted to create a little bit more of that structure with the blush. So kind of combining those like berry shades, they both end up being a little bit more of like a fuchsia uh, in like um, various values essentially. And then just bringing a little bit of that onto my nose cause like we're keeping it light and fresh, you know? I'm gonna be mixing these two eye paints, one from About Face uh, from P. Louise and then also this white one from House Labs for my eyeshadow base. So I'm creating my own custom little lavender. I wanted it to be quite light, a uh, custom lavender shade that I'm be placing all over the lid and then I'm going in with one of my favorite refer blending brushes and just patting that out, blending it in like a typical shape. You know, I don't even know what shape I would call this, but you've all seen it. Uh, and if you're new, that's it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so just like, this is just my quick and easy base. Beautiful color. Blending it out, kind of connecting it into that blush. I'm gonna be taking that down on my lower lash line as well. And then I'm just using that same exact large fluffy brush because I want everything to be like nice and soft and blended. 
Um, and once again, making sure that I'm kind of like blending that into the blush that I brought up into my temple so that everything kind of looks seamless. A little bit of a gradient going on. I added this blue, this is from Half Magic, just to kind of like deepen up that color a little bit. Uh, I just wanted to like a little bit more contrast. I ended up feeling like things were a little too light. And once again, I didn't want this look to be, I wanted it to be spring. I didn't want it to be too pretty. You know what I mean? I didn't want it to be, I wanted it to be something that like an edgy person could wear to Easter if they really wanted to. You know, I want the, that vibe. Now I'm picking up this beautiful shade from one of the Odin's eye palettes. This is from the holidays. I believe it was limited edition, so I don't know if it's available anymore. Um, but any Odin's eye palette, to be completely honest, they're just really gorgeous. I'm pressing this all over the lid. And then I'm picking up a slightly darker one, which has a really beautiful shift to it. And I'm placing that on the outer corner. Definitely not necessary. You don't need to add the shimmer if you want to keep it more simple. But if you're looking for, you know, I don't know, just like a little something, you want to amp it up a bit, shimmer's always a fun situation. Gonna be setting with my e.l.f. Halo Glow Powder, always, under eyes. Uh, sets nicely without making things look super dry or powdery. And I am using my MAC 240S brush. House Labs setting powder, been loving this to set the rest of my face. Uh, just, you know, setting the rest of my face, what the hell, you know what I mean? All up in my T-zone, around my nose, areas that like tend to look a little bit more oily, and then taking whatever's left over in the outer perimeter of my face. Picking up this highlight from Rare Beauty, this is Enlighten, uh, and hitting all of the high points, cheekbones. Honestly, it's a little light. I think I have to stop using this one, especially for these blushes. I started to realize that it was like kind of toning down, so I wanted to go back in and kind of like press that blush back over it. I think a darker highlight would have been better. I'm using this ColourPop palette. It'll be linked down below, but I just loved this color and I wanted to make things a little more edgy. So I'm using this as my inner corner highlight, kind of. It just creates like a little bit more of a punk kind of look to it. Then I'm going to be going in with this new Urban Decay eyeliner. Uh, I'm using this to basically create a winged liner that is kind of like using my crease <laughs> as my like hooded, slightly hooded crease as an inspo for the shape. So I'm kind of navigating around that. I'm making this like little, I don't know, it kind of looks like a little knife situation around the outer corner of my eyes. And then I'm not taking that anywhere near my lid. I'm just kind of like hugging that area and taking that wing liner nice and long. Curling my lashes with my Refer Lash, Lash Curler as always. And then for my mascara, I'm going to be going in with the L'Oreal Bambi Eyes Waterproof Mascara. You know I love my waterproof mascaras because they hold up my lashes and this one, I just like kind of forgot that I had and then I found it and I was like, mm, let's give this a go, you know? It's a good one, it's a pretty good one. Um, and then for my lower lashes, I'm just using Tower 28. My lower lashes, I never, I pretty much never use waterproof mascara because it just doesn't really, it's, I don't need to worry about the hold, you know what I mean? For my brows, I'm setting them first with the Jekka Black, I think this is just the brow gel uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just the brow gel. There's two. There's like the brow block, I think, and the brow gel. This one's just to set, essentially. Um, so I'm brushing it back and forth, making sure that I'm coating every inch of the brow and then combing them into place. Just like, you know, lift, setting them, all the things. I'm gonna be lining my lips with Maybelline Gone Grage, uh, which is like a nice neutral for me. It's a nice, like slightly cool toned, mauve kind of like almost, I don't know. It's just like kind of cool tone. It's got a little bit of purple in it. It's, it's one of my favorite colors. I thought it complemented, um, especially my cheek color quite nicely. Um, so I'm contouring, blending, and then I'm finishing off with the Summer Fridays Lip Butter. Uh, this is the pink one. Delicious scent, by the way. So delicious. Very creamy. Loved the, um, loved the feel. This is a tart blush. I decided I needed more blush. I'm just going over that highlight. Kind of want to like intensify. Once again, I wanted the blush to be like part of a statement. And I ended up just kind of taking that like all over the place. I was like, you know what? We're going in with the blush today. So I finished off with this. Three blushes, that's fine. Melt Perfectionist Brow Pen. Great color, great like universal kind of cool toned, like, I don't know, light brown-ish color. Uh, I'm using this to finish off my brows. 
which honestly, I think it draws over my soap a little bit better than this brow gel, if I'm completely honest, but it worked. It worked just fine. All right, guys, this is the finished look. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below. Would you wear something like this? What do you think? What do you think of the edgy spring makeup look? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, subscribe, whatever. Turn on notifications if you feel like it, if you like me, if not, then like whatever. Um, and I'll see you soon, dude. Bye.